Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at some of our favourite coaches because we've done Locos, we've done Wagons, this time it's a turn of the coaches. So first one to start off with is the Hornby Pullman. Famous. Yeah. Now this is Lucille, this was introduced in 1975 and we've got a cat. <laughs> Sorry about this, she's been miving us to come in and I wasn't going to leave her. Yes, those are nice warm lights, aren't they? <laughs> Hi, people have been asking where you've been. Yeah, she's definitely still... You, you like Pullman's as well. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to leave her. Um, yeah, so this came out in 1975. Pullman's are still in Hornby's range. This one went as Lucille up to 1977. In 1977, you could get it with stickers, so you could change the name so all the coaches weren't of the... You know, the same name. All oh, right, okay. I had one of these in the 70s. For a long time, it's my favorite coach. And we've got a rake of four of these, and they're very, very nice. This one's in pretty good condition because they have a tendency, the lamp paint on them, to run and stain the white tables. Luckily, really? Yeah, luckily this one hasn't done it, but that is something you need to look out for if you, you get in a few of these. Around 80, 81, I think the colors did change, so they're more of a a cream rather than a yellow. Oh, right. Maybe that's when they went over to a painted finish, it's hard to tell. Some of the later ones also have a white roof because they're part of the Orient Express. So that's that one. So while we're on the subject of Hornby Pullmans, we'll have a look at another one, which would be this one, the Golden Arrow. This came out the same year 1975 as Lucille. This was only in the catalogue until 1978. Hello, and they never did this one with the, the, the brake. What do you want? I can't get it out of the box. Claws. <laughs> hey, Lola. Yeah, you go to your mum. <laughs> yes. So that is the Golden Arrow one. And you can see in that one, the tables have um, got a bit of staining from the lamps on. What a shame, they did just didn't have the paint work. No, I mean, you can't notice unless you look really close, and if you were that bothered, because these would be ideal for putting lighting strips in, which we have got one of our friend Ian. He actually specialises in all the, the electronic side of things. So we're going to put that in some of the Pullman's, I think. Yeah. So I that's agree. something we'll look at. I mean, I quite like the blue and white. Well, I do, I do, surprisingly. Mm. I mean, I know that's very yellow, and the cream one is its just a matter of taste, really. So that's those two. While we're on the subject of Pullman still, we have the Wren Pullman. This is, um, I think this is X-Hornby Dublo. Now, the problem with this Pullman is, getting it out of the box, is it's tiny. Oh. It's so much shorter than those. Up there. Put them side by side. <laughs> oh, aren't they really small? So these are under scale. Right. But very nice. Is that a window in that and a fake in that? You know. No, that that's is the it window. It's supposed to be a window. Let's have a look what are these? But are the round bits supposed to be windows in these? No, that or? is that's not a fake. It's, is it, is I think it's got um, coloured glass behind it. Ah, right, okay. That's where that's... The, is that where the toilet will be? That, no, that's the is same. That fake? No, they're exactly looks, this. On this spot, it looks just like an actual window. Mm. Another thing they did in these, in the early 80s, the crest there, which we can see here, the crest, on the early 80s ones, it's actually simplified, but it is in different colours. So it's not the one, it's not monotone like that one. Back to the Wren one, I really like these because they have metal bogies, so they run really, really smooth when they're on the track. Very nice. <laughs> you know, the detail's not bad. I mean, the roof's a bit mm. plain, but if you're out buying any of these, they usually go around the £20 mark. But if you get one with the white tables, they are far, far rarer. These were actually introduced I'd have to check, but I think it was the mid 80s they came out with the white tables. The what mud. are they now then? 
What well, were they all? Before that, they were brown. I've got four of these, and the other ones are all brown. The oh, white right. ones, they're massively rarer, and they go for double the price. I didn't know that when I bought it, because it was cheap. Got a bargain then. Damn. Um, very happy with that. Um, one more. Here's a Backman. Very new for us, this, isn't it? Backman Mark 1 Full Break into City. Claws. Why does she do this? <laughs> You've got more padding on your <laughs> trousers than I have on mine. That hurts. Get her off. <laughs> Come on, Lily, you're going to have to get down, gorgeous. <laughs> do not want acupuncture. <laughs> so this comes with some extra bits. And what are those? This sort of, what are they for? Um, I like handles if you're going to lift them up. I'm not sure, we'd have to look on it. It even comes with instructions, I think. I mean, it's a really nice model. And what made you get this one? Just because it was newer, or...? I just liked it. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, we can mix and match. like something, you like something, don't you? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> No, no this this is obviously just a Mark One. I mean, it has been it has been used, but it's still got all these bits on it. But again, so much more detailed. I don't know how old it is. It could be ten years old even. I think those pipes will go on the end there somewhere. There's one. I'm not sure. But yeah. I'm sure they must give the instructions inside somewhere. They'll say somewhere what in the, there. What what the for? No, Maybe not. we can find out. What are they? Yeah, they're, they're just little bits. You don't have to put them on. Again, nice. Smooth nice runner. runner. Smooth runner. That's what you want. Yeah. So that's I think, nice. I think you missed one there. There's two more there to look at, which I did move over. Now, the first one is not that one. It is this. Perfect. This is in the later packaging, which I think is from 1980. Before that, it was the blue and white packaging. So it's a Mark II coach, obviously. Got a nice set of these. So it's a very old model, actually. I think this came out in 1977. It's got plastic wheels, but they've got um, metal axles there. It was good for the time, a bit dated now, but one thing I do like about it, like the real ones, you've got tinted windows. Oh, right, OK, you did that. Mm. You tinted windows? Yeah. Not opening as well because of the air conditioning of these. Oh, very good. But look how smooth that is, even though it's got plastic wheels. Bit of a wobble. And that might be just me pushing it. It's a really, really nice model. So they came out in 77 when Airfix stopped a fixed way to receive the ship in 1981, they went over to being mainline. Now you think they were identical, wouldn't you? Because the coach is different on each side. But they're not identical. What is the difference? Well, apart from saying mainline on the bottom. The difference is the colour of the bogies. Now on the mainline one, and the later Dapol ones, they're black. And on the Airfix one, it's actually brown. Ah, uh, yes. Can you see? I can. Can everyone else? I think they got better eyes than us. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to tell. It keeps turning round, but... The mainline ones are black and the Airfix ones are brown. Now that is also something that happened with the Airfix Class 31 diesels. They went over to um, Dapol, who actually produced them. I think they might have still been in the Airfix packaging, basically unsold stock. But on those, yeah, you have black bogies, but the Airfix Class 31s have brown. So what did they really have when they'd be, did they, I'd imagine they're black. I wouldn't do it brown well, they're always, one, would they? I think it might be. I could be wrong. They might have been brown. I don't know. I'd have to have a 
I haven't mm. got one to hand a real one, I've got to have a look. <laughs> but they get that grubby, they look brown anyway, but they might have been brown oh, on the I real see. ones. They could have been brown. It's very hard to tell, but you can when you're in better light, see. If you knew, please mm. do let us know, because we're not sure. Well, those are really nice coaches. Now, I don't know if everybody realised they actually went to Dapol. I think they went to Hornby after that. So if you are looking to make up a set of Airfix ones and you can't find them, because they did make a lot more of the first class, you know, the ones with the yellow stripe. Oh, yes. They were the first ones to come out. And they were, there were so many of them. Until the shops had sold them, they wouldn't make any of these in the, the second class. So you will find a lot more first class than second. Ah. Even in the Airfix train sets, they were all first class. So I think that's all our favourite coaches. There's Not a few. Mine. You forgotten. would have liked to put in as well. We can do another video then. You want to put the little blue four wheelers in and also the LNER teak ones, which are okay. You know, I'd, there's so many other ones we could put in. We never really run coaches that much on the layout. I always tend to put, you know, the, the wagons on them. Yeah. Is there a reason for that? Is it just getting them in and out of the box? I mean, you've got these more boxes, isn't there, when you're running? There is, yeah. That's why a lot of wagons are always left out on the railway. But anyway, so you could run this with those. The problem is, I mean, you will get a bit of a mix and match, you know, with liveries. Yeah. But it just looks so much more detailed next to them, doesn't it? Yeah. That is yeah. the problem you get when you pick up a few new bits and you're running them behind an old loco. I, I do like this one, though, and I like that one, yeah. We've got a nice set of those. We've got a, a good. Do they really have a silver? Yes, yeah, they're all silver. Yeah. I like that. But on the, I think it was the what was the name? Is the gold, not the golden arrow? The Orient Express ones they did, same Pullmans. Mm. They had a white roof, but that one again, that only has a grey. See, I like the coaches more than anything because obviously, the trains and the engines. We tend to travel in coaches rather than yeah wagons. and i love seeing them when we went to see them in real life but um uh, what was it we went the coach museum yeah what was it called <laughs> the vintage carriages trust right yeah but it was lovely to be able to actually physically go on them because a mm. lot of the time you're looking at them you know through a window if you can see that height yeah so to me to be able to actually go on and sit on them and see how comfy they are and the difference between the first class and Obviously, the wooden benches in third class, but yeah, I I really like the coaches. I like to see the different ones, and the more railways you go on, you know, the vintage, oh sorry, the heritage railways, you the more you get to try out the different coaches. I think they were comfy because we were sat in them for five minutes. Yes. A couple of hours trip might not have been as oh, comfy. Yeah, some, them big armchair ones. Yeah, you they have to rush amazing. to get those seats. <laughs> Very quiet this one, isn't it? Yeah, we've um, not featured that in the video before. It's new. It's newish, yeah. <laughs> That's got a bit of a wobble. <laughs> no offence, but they're boring. They're air conditioned, they're really, really comfortable. Yeah, I'm sure they are, I'm sure they are, but to look at it, how amazing is that one? My favourite coach on here is, is that one. You like that, that one. one. Yeah. It's exactly the same, just a different colour. That's still wobbly, so that'll probably need a new wheel. <laughs> but that's not the, you know, that's quite a newish one. It's from the 80s, maybe late 80s. I think they did change the name. Right, that's our favourite coaches. Thanks for watching. Next time, I think we'll do our five favourite tank engines. So yeah, stick around for that. That'll be up in a few weeks. Cheers, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.